Hey you guys, Game.Film here, back with another video. Went to We Love Video, the only place where you can rent movies in Austin, Texas. Got six pickups from there. First one, my favorite of the six. French film, District B13. Man, this is an amazing action movie, guys. Um, four and a half stars out of five. This stars David Bell, who was one of the co-founders of Parkour. He's a stuntman as well. And it also stars, I might butcher this, Cyril Raffaele. He's one of my childhood faves. Uh, Kiss of the Dragon with Jet Li. And he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jet Li, man. Excellent martial artist. And some fantastic parkour, stunt work. There's a good car chase, man. Good gunfights. And, man, it's just high-octane energy. Balls to the wall, man. It never lets up. Big adrenaline rush. But... Man, those two actors, I um, haven't seen them in a lot of other things, so it's kind of sad they weren't huge stars, but Luc, Luc Besson was involved in this. Uh, Pierre Morel is the director. Don't know much about him, but man, this is a must-watch, guys. It, it also is kind of like a buddy. They're, they become buddies in the middle towards the end, too, man. I like that. So, District B13, guys. Second, I want to talk about Babylon AD, Raw and Uncut. Starring Finn Diesel, Michelle Yeoh's also in it. Huge disappointment, guys. Um, one and a half stars out of five. The action is so, it's that fast cut action that you can't really tell what's happening. And you can't really feel the impact of the hits, but the plot is so convoluted, guys. Um, it's so frustrating to watch at times. You have no idea why this girl's so important, why they're transporting her, and it just feels slapped together. This is directed by Matthew Kasselwitz, he directed La Haine, which is a pretty, um, it's a mid-90s French film. It's pretty iconic, but man, this was a huge letdown, guys. Babylon AD. Do not recommend that. Next up, we've got one of my favorite martial arts actors, Mark Dacascos, The Driver. This one's a stinker as well. Worse. It's one star out of five for me. Um... It's kind of... I, I did not expect this to be a zombie flick. And their place gets overrun and he has to drive off with his daughter to survive. But man, like 80% of this movie is them in a car on a green screen. And it's actually Mark DeCosco's daughter. So, I mean, they have some tender moments. But man, it's like... Uh, there's one good action scene. Just one. And that's it. There's some gunplay involved. Late... Um, other parts of the movie but even that's not very impressive but dude just it's it's a, it's a chore to get through this guys and watch it for that one good action scene which thankfully happens in the beginning but man this is just not not i can't recommend this one star out of five Boo. next i got delete a sci-fi um i wouldn't say it's a film because when I booted it up, guys, it's kind of like a TV miniseries. It's like two movies. They're both, it's two parts, 90 minutes a piece. And yeah, it only lasted those two. It didn't really pick up after that. But man, uh, I was pretty impressed with this. Um, the AI Rex Havoc, dude. Havoc? Havoc? <laughs> but dude, there's like, it makes, um, it hires like assassins to like kill like people in broad daylight. It hijacks a train with like cyanide poisonous gas and dude it fires like a missile at somebody and at a big city among other things so it's pretty neat guys if you like hackers maybe like terminator 2 the ai stuff and that it doesn't have action like t2 but um the, the acting so so um i commend the filmmakers for being pretty experimental there's some neat camera tricks they do camera movements and but dude take a shot when they do a lens flare because most of the time it's annoying uh there's these huge lens flares and like bolt the light just shines right into the camera it's pretty annoying like i, I like what they were trying to do there they were trying to do something different but yeah man hit or miss on that front but hey steve Barron directed this and he directed the first ninja turtles movie so you know, it's got that going for it. Seth Green's also in this. He's not in it that long, but he wields an assault rifle and he starts shooting dudes. So I haven't seen that side of Seth Green, but delete. This is a pretty good sci-fi, man. So 
Might be worth checking out. I think it was from 2012. Three and a half stars out of five on that one. Next pickup is called Avengers Grimm. This is kind of a... It's not a spoof off. It's kind of like... They're making a movie kind of like the Avengers, you know? But it's like... Rumpelstiltskin, Snow White, like that group. And it has an all-girl uh, hero cast. Uh, there's four of them. So you got to give it up to that. So Caster Van Deen from Starship Troopers. He's hamming it up as the main villain. Uh, I think Rumpelstiltskin is his name. Um, Lou Ferrigno. He plays like this. He turns into this guy who's just all iron, dude. So that's kind of cool. But, man, it's just... Uh, I think I gave this two stars out of five. Maybe one and a half out of five. It's just, it's kind of like a so bad it's good, but it's not that good. Because, like, the acting, the dialogue, like, they're kind of just cheesing it up there. But, um, yeah. There's, like, one or two decent action scenes, but, man, it, it's kind of a stinker. Might be worth checking out if you like Casper, Luferigno, but, you know. Can't fully recommend that one. Last pickup, guys. Uh, Tony Scott's a really good director, but man, I've been hit or miss with this filmography. Kind of a, a bad DVD cover here. Deja Vu. I gave this one two stars out of five, but I think I owe it to Tony Scott and to give it another chance because I started drinking at the start and I was getting pretty hammered middle of it towards the end and I was just getting really annoyed with this, man. I don't like the way it looks. There's like these... The way the camera moves, I mean, it's constantly moving, and I'm just, I, I, I was drinking, man. I was getting drunker the more I watched this thing, and I will say Denzel Washington, man, he holds it down, he's definitely a strong performance by him, he's really suave, a lot of charisma, he's got his one-liners, Val Kilmer's in it too, he's okay, Jim Caviezel, who's a nutcase off-screen, he's an okay villain, I guess, but man, Paula Patton's the chick in this, and I can't stand her and her husband Robin Thicke. I think they're talent, talentless uh, pricks. I just don't like them at all. So that didn't help me wa watch this movie. And it just feels like the CIA like creamed all over the script. I, If you watch it, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Just like pro-military and like what the CIA or what this agency's doing. It's like for the good of the people kind of thing. I don't know. And like... It, it kind of starts off with Denzel seeing Paula Patton's dead body and he's like, she's beautiful. And he starts falling in love with her. I was like, dude, that's a dead corpse. Like, what, what's, why are you getting a hard on for? It's very strange. But maybe I'll give it another chance sober, guys. Deja vu. The, a lot of people like the sci-fi plot and kind of like, I think you have to like, they can see into the future and like predict crimes kind of thing. So... And all the technology they use to track crimes. So, it's got some stuff going for it, man. But, I don't know. I was just annoyed with it. But, have you guys seen any of these six movies? I'm going to direct a video. Um, I like the action movies. So, I took a chance on a lot of these. I like schlock. But, yeah. District B13, guys. Best watch of the bunch. Definitely watch that. Others were kind of... Can't recommend those. But, don't forget to support local business, guys. Check out We Love Video. Great uh, workers there. I love chatting up with them and just talk movies and get film recs from them. The way everything's cataloged, it's so professionally done. I love it. Oh, I just hit my mic. But, all right. Well, that about does it, guys. And I got movie content, game content. I'm doing uh, news updates on, uh, before I stream on Twitch. I'm trying to stream there three times a week. So maybe like 7 p.m. Central Time. So come check out a stream there, guys. So yeah, and don't forget to sub to the channel, like, comment, let this video play in its entirety. I'm shadow banned on YouTube, so it really helps the algorithm if you do those three things. But yeah, I'm all across social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Blue Sky, and Twitch, like I said. I'll log and review every movie I watch on Letterboxd. Hit me up on there. And yeah, that about does it. Free Palestine, guys. Don't forget to educate your friends, friends and family on that too. Just want to add that in there. But yeah, peace.